With the holidays quickly approaching, it's time to start planning gift ideas. I know for me, it could be a struggle for family members and friends to figure out what gifts to get me for my birthday or for holidays. So I wanted to put together a video for those of you out there struggling to figure out what gifts should I get for that special medical student in my life. What's going on everyone and thank you for clicking on this video. For those of you who may be new to my channel, my name is Terrence and I'm currently a first year medical student in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. In this video, I'll be sharing my eight best holiday gift ideas for medical students, but this video can also apply to pre-med students, incoming first year medical students, accepted medical school applicants, or other healthcare professional students like nursing, PA, occupational therapy, physical therapy, and anything in between. Before I get into my list, I first wanna preface that these items are not listed in any particular rank of importance or value, but I do feel that every single item on this list has helped me personally in being more efficient as a medical student and enjoying my medical school process. The first item on my list are noise canceling headphones. They've been really great as far as allowing me to just block out a lot of the noise and the distractions, especially with COVID-19 restrictions and having to do a lot of my work from home. Just being able to zone in with noise canceling headphones have been a great advantage. There are two options that I usually go with. Um, the first would be the lighter of the options, which are earbuds. So I have AirPod Pros that are a little bit on the more expensive side, but work very, very well. They're light. Um, they are not strenuous on the neck or my, or my head in any way. And they provide great quality audio for listening to music during studying or just blocking out noise in general. I also use over the ear headphones. These are a little bit heavier and heavier duty, but these could also range in pricing. And I think if you're looking for something more flexible in pricing, uh, the over the ears might be the way to go. But either way, you can't go wrong with either headphone option, either the AirPods or the over the ear headphones. Staying on the trend of technology and efficiency, the next thing on the list is a computer monitor. This seems very basic and very simple, but having that extra monitor has been very, very useful for me. I personally use a laptop to go everywhere I want. If I wanna study in the library, I'll take my laptop with me. But if I'm studying at home in my personal base, my home base, uh, I'll be using my second monitor uh, quite, quite often. I use it when I'm writing papers for research projects. I use it when I'm watching lectures on one screen and maybe taking notes on the other. There's so many different variables that I use my second monitor for. And I think it's a great addition to the home desk setup that is very, very useful and I get everyday use out of it. The third thing on the list is a laptop stand. This is actually something I recently invested into sitting on computer for sometimes 12 to 16 hours a day, whether that's meetings, Zoom calls, studying, doing Anki, review cards, anything. Uh, I'm always on my computer every single day, all day, especially with COVID restrictions and virtual medical school right now, I'm constantly sitting down at my desk on my computer and the strain on my neck is just terrible after a long period of time. And for months, I've just been hunching over, using my laptop on my desk and I've finally invested into a laptop stand and it's been a game changer for me. It allows me to have better posture. It allows me to have a little bit more stamina throughout the day because I'm not hunched over constantly. Um, it was just been something that's a cheap purchase that can make a huge difference uh, as a medical student. The fourth thing on my list of best gift ideas for a medical student are books. And I'm not talking about medical school books. We get enough of that during our curriculum. The thing I'm talking about are enjoyable, motivational books, audio books. I personally listen to audio books almost every single day, whether on my commute to school, sitting at home, in between lectures, just to allow myself to get a little bit of education, knowledge, motivation outside of my regular medical school learning and curriculum. With this gift idea, your interest may vary and who you're getting the gift for may vary for sure based on their interests and their personal beliefs and habits. Uh, there are some books that I live by. One is Deep Work by Cal Newport. It's a productivity book about how we can focus in in a world of distraction. I live by that book and it's helped me be so much more productive as a medical student. I know another big one is Atomic Habits. Uh, as far as motivational books I just finished, Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins, great, great book. Another two books that are more medically related that I, I've read and I'll put them on the screen here are Hot Lights, Cold Steel by Michael Collins and Being Mortal by Atul Gawande. These are just books that I've personally read myself, but there are a long list of medical related books to help a medical student stay motivated and get that perspective on what it's like to be a doctor or physician and how to 
how to keep going during this long journey. So to continue with the list, the next gift idea is a suture kit. For me, being interested in surgery, I think a suture kit has been something that has been a cool, fun tool to use. Um, there are so many free tutorials online on YouTube on how to suture, how to suture like a surgeon. As a medical student, a suture kit, somebody interested in surgery, I think that a, a, a suture kit is a great gift for a holiday season. The sixth thing on my list are a pair of scrubs. If you're thinking about getting your medical student something clothing wise, I think a scrub pair is a great addition. We do everything from cadaver dissections to clinical skills, to shadowing, to rotations. We need scrubs and it's nice to have a few pairs just to be able to rotate through. Um, I've had multiple situations where I've had multiple one of those things in a week and it's nice to be able to rotate through them versus having to constantly wash them. So you can never go wrong with an extra pair of scrubs. The ones I personally have are Cherokee, but I know there are plenty of brands out there like Figs and others that uh, many medical students uh, have high recommendations of. Moving along, number seven are anatomy posters or just medically related decor. I have different things around my house that kind of help motivate me as a medical student. They don't necessarily have to be specific to medicine. I have a Kobe Bryant poster in my office to keep me motivated. I have anatomy posters beside me. Uh, they're also good for learning as well, not just aesthetics. So if you have a medical student that has an interest in a certain field of medicine or just medicine in general and wants to nerd out and wants to have these specific uh, aesthetics on their wall, be sure to get them those anatomy posters for this upcoming holiday. I guarantee they'll appreciate it for not only aesthetic purposes, but motivation and learning at the same time. And lastly, number eight, tools to maintain wellness. I find that, and I mentioned this before, when sitting at the desk for a long period of time, I get back pain, I get neck pain, I get discomfort, and just having certain things like a yoga mat to stretch out every single day, uh, having a yoga ball to stretch my you know, thoracic cage, my abdomen uh, every single day from sitting down hunched over and just being able to stretch and, and reach back. Um, those things I use almost daily. I also use a foam roller. I also have resistance bands to do exercises. Having that main and maintaining that balance as a medical student is one of the most important things as far as presenting, preventing burnout and just improving overall well-being. So number eight, but lastly, is definitely not least. Um, these wellness tools can go a long, long way in just helping uh, maintain that wellness and helping to maintain good posture and just a feel good uh, presence throughout the medical school uh, journey. So I know I said number eight was last, but I want to list a bunch of honorable mentions that didn't make my list specifically because I think that although that these are very, very important things and things that I use personally every single, almost every single day, some of them, some of these things will be given to you by a medical school or your medical school will require specific things out of you. So I wouldn't necessarily say that these are universal to every medical student but I think that they're still very important and worth mentioning. So first on my list of honorable mentions is first aid for your USMLE step one exam. As a first year medical student right now, this is very valuable to me and also to second year students getting ready to prep for our first board exam. This is something that I use pretty frequently to get high yield content. So first aid is something that I highly recommend. And if your medical student doesn't already have it, this could be a good thing to uh, get for them to help save them some money going forward. The next thing on the list are pretty cheap items, but are a lifesaver, especially staring at screens all day, our blue light glasses. I found them personally to be very useful as far as reducing the strain on my eyes, reducing how tired I get throughout the day. Uh, mine are pretty basic. They're not too stylish, but I know that there are a bunch of stylish ones and fancy ones out there. Uh, and I guess based on your price range and your, your interest, um, those can vary, but blue light glasses have been something that I rely on pretty much every single day. The next thing is a kind of a bundle. It's an iPad, iPad case, and also a stylus. Uh, the styluses can vary. You don't have to necessarily get an Apple Pencil. I have a pretty basic stylus that I bought on Amazon for I think around $20 and it's not super fancy, but it gets the job done. It allows me to write notes along with my lectures on my iPad. Also the iPad case helps for protection. Mine's pretty simple. It just goes over the iPad. It allows you to fold it up. Uh, allows you to stand up the iPad as well on different angles. So 
basic things, uh, but iPad, I feel that it varies from school to school. Sometimes they'll give it to you, but other times you have to buy it for yourself. A great tool that I'd never expected to be using every single day, but uh, based on the way that we're learning now, even in recent years, uh, iPad is super, super clutch. The next thing that I'll mention is a badge holder. I didn't realize how important this was until I got one. Uh, having a badge holder uh, to attach to my ID has been something that's been really convenient for me. I never forget my ID. I just clip it onto my clothing and I have it with me everywhere. It's super convenient and super slick and easy to use. Badge holder is something that's an underrated gift and can be a nice little stocking stuffer for your holiday season. Lastly, on my honorable mention are stethoscope, a pen light, and a blood pressure cuff. Blood pressure cuffs are a must have. They're great for practicing on yourself, your roommate, your family members. Blood pressure is one of those fundamental things that we need and we have to be able to use. A pen light is also something that's highly recommended and every medical student most likely will need. And also a stethoscope. This could range in price and range in uh, how fancy it is. Uh, you could get it customized. You could get the basic version. You could get the cardio version. Uh, but every medical student needs a stethoscope. So those four, those three things, the stethoscope, pen light, and the blood pressure cuff it may vary based on if your school gives it to you, what they require, but every medical student uh, definitely needs those three things. All right, so that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I was able to provide some value and some perspective to those of you guys that are looking for holiday gifts for that medical student, for that pre-med student, for that healthcare student in your life. I hope that I was able to show different angles about what we need as not only students, but in our personal and professional lives as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video and you like this type of video, make sure you give it a like and a thumbs up so I can make future videos like this going forward. Also, if you're new, make sure you subscribe and check out the rest of my content. I have a passion for creating content about my medical school experience and also providing pre-med advice. So if you're interested in any of those things, make sure you go check out my channel and subscribe. Good luck to everybody this holiday season. Happy holidays and let's get it.